Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today let's talk about Python object-oriented programming. So Python is a multi-player in programming language. It also supports OOP. Solving programming problems by creating objects is called OOP. So you create a class, you create objects out of classes, and then you go ahead and, uh, and solve the problems. So an object has attributes. Uh, Attributes are those which define an object, right? Uh, behavior uh, are those which an object uh, does, uh, like what uh, function or class is defined to do. Then hey, let's say if Batman is an object, then his attributes are height, age, location, powers, what defines him. His characteristics or behaviors are fight, dance, fly, sing, so what he does. So the main concept behind um, object oriented programming it's try or don't repeat yourself mm, so let's say you have many functions and these functions call other functions and you kind of use them very often so what you do is you create a class of all these methods and functions or objects you want to call or uh, methods and functions and you create objects out of it use it so in that way, you reduce the number of uh, number of lines of code. Plus, it will be much um, more readable um, and easy to uh, understand. Or if you hand over the project to someone, then it is much easier for them to follow through. Okay, so let's define our first class. I say class J L, as in just display, and I'm going to say class attributes right team is uh, justice league and then i will say instance attribute okay so define and just go in it then this is self name power right uh, so here you don't have to have a constructor or an initiator for a class but it is best practice for most of the classes to have it and you will see why uh, and what is the importance of it so this entire class takes minimum two objects self name and i'm um, sorry attributes and those attributes have to be constructed here like this name so power equals power so whenever my other methods in the class uh, want to use this name or power, they have to call them like this, self.name, self.power, right? So what is uh, an init function here? It's all, these are also called magic methods or dunder, double underscore methods. So Dunder init is a constructor of a class. It instantiates or initiates the class, right? So let's go ahead and create a Batman object. Justice League, right? Batman and JL, Bruce Wayne and per Perseverance. Bruce Wayne is the name, power. So let me try to create an empty object, whether it allows me or not, right? So delete, shift enter. Obviously it will fail, fail. And you will see the right uh, reason why it says name jail is not defined. Okay, uh, spelling mistake. Okay, so here missing two required positional arguments, name and power. So this object expects two positional arguments. Here I'm going to give them Bruce Wayne and Perseverance. Mm, okay. All right. So now if I do Batman dot team, it says like this. I can also access this deliberately. It's called deliberately accessing it, right? Class dot team and Justice League. Now I will say. So now let me uh, kind of give you a real world scenario and try to compare that to you. So here, jail was a class. Class is like a blueprint of an object. An object is an instance or instantiation of a class so if floor design of an apartment is class then each apartment built by that 
is an object and then you have um, a lot of other um, instruments let's say in an apartment um, let's say a television or something then what are they called so let's say they are methods a television what does it do it takes electricity as input and it produces some imagery and sound etc for you to um, use so that so televisions function is our the the reason why it is built or its whole purpose is to take electricity as input and produce an output in the form of visuals and audio the same you have a fridge which takes electricity as an input takes food in it and keeps them cold whenever you want uh, these food items you can take them the same way these in each in a class each method is designed to do something it takes some input and it's designed to do produce uh, designed to produce some output so let's expand on that uh, function again so now I have added an age as one more um, attribute or one more attribute which has to be given to this object now I have um, added one more method here uh, fights and it takes one attribute called location and it just returns this string bad guys at particular location then another method is if the given age is more than 108 it says ret retired and if it's not it says okay it's not retired so let's create a batman object here batman jail is class name bruce wayne perseverance 99 so name power age are expected I give a name, power, and age here. So now I want to do Batman uh, dot fights, right? So here, bad guys at Gotham. So here it is an extra attribute that I have to give, and I have given the attribute bad guys at Gotham. Now is he retired? So age, what I've given here is 99, so it should return false. Now that guy is not retired. So Batman belongs to which team? He belongs to Justice League team, right? But now, what if I want to change his team? Only for, uh, I want to change, I want to move Batman to some secret league, right? So let's say, I did Batman.team is secret league. And then I will print Batman.team. What happens is secret league. That's what you get. Now, let's me go ahead and create a Superman object here. Jail Clark Kent is his name. Flight is one of his one of the superpower that he has. His age is one zero one. Obviously, he's not retired. So Superman that fights Earth. So here, I gave Gotham for Batman. For Superman, I gave Earth. He says, "Okay, bad guys at Earth." Now is he retired? No, because it's one zero one, and the condition what I've given here is. If the age is 108 or, or higher than 108, then declare him as retired. Now, the interesting thing is superman.team. Here, it says Justice League. So, the object that I created for Batman, here I created a Batman object, and for only for him, I changed the team. So, only for Batman, it got changed. So, Batman.team produces in cell 15 secretly. But for Superman, it's still justice league whatever uh, is the default for uh, the particular class so that's all i have for class introduction we will continue this oop for python thank you for tuning in you have a great one bye